So in this episode, we're going to take you with us to Ilhaus and Itabuna uh, in Bahia, Brazil. In Ilhaus, we're going to show you a little bit of renovation that we've started to do to the combi. And in Itabuna, we're going to show you our favorite spice market in the very heart of historic Itabuna. And before coming back home, we'll take you with us to two car dealerships. Uh, one, a Volkswagen dealership and one, a Jeep dealership. Uh, as we begin to think about possibly selling the combi and buying uh, a new SUV. To Brazil day before yesterday and we are back into the rhythm of things we are headed to Ilhaus to uh, take care of some errands that we had started before our trip and we'll vlog about our day with you today so one of the things that we're gonna do today since we've just come back from the US is we're gonna go check out the Jeep dealership in Itabuna Bahia. We're going to see what type of models they have. The Jeep Renegade is very common where we live. Uh, most people drive the uh, two-wheel version, but I've seen a few uh, four-by-four versions, uh, quattro por quattro, because we live uh, in a farmhouse which has about half a kilometer of uh, dirt road but it rains and gets really dicey lots of holes standing water etc so having a, a 4x4 vehicle I think is perfect for us and I don't want to spend a lot of money because we don't have that kind of monthly budget since we're living minimalistic we're thinking about buying um, a new Jeep 4x4 but we just want to see what's available, what the pricing is, what the financing and monthly payments look like. And then we can decide if we want to uh, keep the combi and buy another vehicle as well. Or uh, get rid of the combi, sell it to somebody since the tourist season is coming. I'm sure we'll have no problem selling it. And then using the money from the combi as the down payment for the Jeep. So we'll see. Right, Elsie? Yes. <laughs> I don't speak a lot, right? I just say yes, go, yeah, maybe, that's it. You know, as Elsie's getting older, she's losing her voice. <laughs> she oh, doesn't speak much. Thing, she's not just I've never lost my voice because it's a gift from God to sing, but I'm not so speaking person. That's true. She's a great singer. Uh, all right, Elsie, let's hear you sing then. I sing to praise the Lord, usually at the church, but I, I'm not like this. Spontaneous she, talker. Yeah. She's not a spontaneous talker. Pepe, you do, you, do you remember that guy said to you the three, the four cars you should never buy because they're horrible? It's Kia, Hyundai, Land Rover, and Jeep. You know, that is absolutely true. Um, I remember watching a show uh, while in the US with Elsie. Uh, it was a mechanic that was being interviewed and he said that he would be out of business if everybody drove a Honda and a Toyota. So the next question the guy asked the mechanic was, what are the four uh, worst cars to, to own and drive? And he said, without a doubt, Kia, Hyundai, Land Rover, and Jeep. So I guess we're going to be looking for a Honda or a Toyota. <laughs> see all the time there are many things about Bahia that remind me of my birth country of India 
and this is a prime example. You got <laughs> you got a three-way thing, and nobody's willing to let anybody go. Net result is nobody's going anywhere. So I'm going to do the right thing and say, go, 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 go. If everybody is not selfish and let one go at one at a time, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Verdade. You know, it's this type of Brazil that I love. This uh, old world, small town markets, kind of beat up. You know, I don't like modern stuff anymore because we left our modern life in the US. This is what excites me. I guess because I'm a photographer, a cinematographer, and an artist, the visuals of stuff like this are just absolutely amazing. Someday I'm going to film a movie over here in Brazil. I, I'm convinced about it. I'm going to make a two-hour movie right here in Brazil. I'll produce, direct, and film it. Maybe the whole story will take place right here in this market called Malhado. Some sort of a dramatic story. Right, Elsie? You, you will be my assistant director. Yes. Okay. We shall do so. etc. We're starting to prep the combi for one of two things. Either we're going to keep it and it's going to be a really nice looking combi on the inside and on the outside. Well on the outside a little simple but really nice on the inside. This is if we keep it or if we decide to sell it and buy a new car uh, it will be nice for the person that ends up wanting to buy it. So either way it's going to end up being a nice combi. So we are on our way to buy spices in what I think is the best spice market in the very heart of Itabuna, Bahia, Brazil. This place sells spices no matter what kind of food you'd like to cook. You just gotta know what they're called in Portuguese, but that's what you have Google Translate for. Uh, or you can reach out to various Facebook groups and they can help you out. This place is absolutely stunning. So come along and take a look at what this spice market looks like. Uh, the name of it is called Bon Sabor, or otherwise in English known as Good Taste. Come, take a look.
one of my favorite stores in Itabuna Bahia because they have all kinds of spices that you can imagine to cook any type of cuisine that your heart desires. This is my favorite. I cannot wait to put my mouth around some of these chips. All natural, without sugar, without salt. Really good for you. It's a perfect snack. <laughs> ah, see. Obrigado. Well, you have to try it, right? Oh. Obrigado. Very good. Cocoa suco chocolate. Obrigado. Tchau. Tchau. <laughs> We are now going to take a look at the Volkswagen dealership to see what their lineup is for SUVs. Uh, Elsie tells me that the Volkswagen brand is the best selling brand in Brazil and she's had Volkswagens uh, for many many years when she lived in Brazil. So let's go take a look and see uh, what they have. So here in Brazil, if you slam the car door, people don't like it. So Elsie's going to show me how to close the door here in Brazil. Isso, Elsie. They ask you, you don't have a fridge at home? Is that what they say? Because you don't slam the door of the fridge, right? You just... You know, the things you learn when you live in a foreign country, right? <laughs> don't slam the car door, especially if it belongs to somebody else. I must admit that I really like this Volkswagen Taos. You know, it's comfortable, it has lots of storage, it has a sleek design, you know, uh, and most importantly, it is in our price range. Okay, okay, we said Jeeps were not reliable as for the mechanic on YouTube, but we thought we'd look at one anyway. Uh, the Jeep Renegade is a 4x4 and also within our budget. So, we're here to see what the numbers look like on a Jeep Renegade, 4x4. Push. Oh, it says push. It said push? Yeah. And Pure means push? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be looking at the cheapest Jeep possible, which is right around there, the Jeep Renegade. I'm looking for a 4x4. I think this car would be perfect for us, just for the two of us, uh, 4x4. Renovate our combi or sell it and buy something new. You tell us what's the right thing for us to do because we can travel in any vehicle. It doesn't have to be a combi. Uh, the only advantage of the combi is you can sleep in it, you can cook in it, and you can take an emergency poop and pee in it. <laughs> That's it. But if you have a modern car, you can travel anywhere in that and it just means you know you have to live in bed and breakfasts or Airbnbs or hotels uh, and the cost factor goes up. Uh, but you gain reliability and you don't have to worry about things breaking down all the time like they often happen on the combi. But anyway, you tell us what would be the right thing for us to do. Renovate the combi and keep it and maybe buy another car or renovate the combi and sell it and then buy another car. You tell us. <laughs>